Jackson are Bart Connor and Kathy Johnson. Last night in the men's all-around competition here in St. Petersburg, it was the youngest competitor in the event, Alexei Namov, who tumbled his way to the gold in the all-around. Leading a sweep from the Russians, gold, silver, and bronze. But tonight we're back here at the Lenin Sport and Concert Complex. Tonight it's the Men's Gymnastics Individual Event Finals. Hi everyone, I'm Bart Connor, and tonight we're going to have an opportunity to see once again 18-year-old Alexei Namov, the new star of Russian gymnastics, as well as a former world champion, Grigory Misutin from Ukraine. Joining me is Kathy Johnson. Now, Kathy, we thought Grigory was going to have a great competition. He looked good in the early rounds, but had a really strange mistake and fell all the way down to fourth place. He was well on his way to winning the all-around competition last night when halfway through the fourth rotation on the parallel bars, the strangest thing happened. He had a beautiful routine going with amazing difficulty, great amplitude, and then watch this. His left arm just buckled underneath him, and no one was more shocked than he was. It threw him off. He had a little trouble on the high bar, but then came back very, very strong on the floor exercise, finished fourth in the all-around, and it's on floor that he should provide one of the most exciting moments of tonight's competition. He could absolutely win a gold there. Now, let's talk about the Americans. There are three Americans in the finals, Drew Durbin, Chaney Umphrey, and Scott Keswick. Scott did not do well in the all-around, but he has a legitimate chance at a medal on the rings, maybe even gold today. Well, he's three-time national champion on the rings, and he's been in the finals at the World Championships, so the judges here are very well aware of his potential. He has amazing strength, a great level of difficulty. In fact, probably the most difficult dismount in the competition. So he has a shot at gold here. Once again, the top eight gymnasts qualified into this competition from the team event. No more than two gymnasts from any one country can compete here tonight. And no scores carry over from the preliminary rounds. It's new life. Tonight, we'll see the floor exercise, the pommel horse, and the rings. And then tomorrow night, we'll see the vault, parallel bars, and horizontal bars. First up in tonight's competition, Dmitry Vasilenko, only 18 years old from Russia, was six in the all-around in the preliminaries here. He's on the floor. He won a silver medal at the recent European Championships on this event. Very strong here. It's kind of a shame for this young man because he's so talented. The Russians took one, two, three in the all-around, but according to the rules, only three can qualify to the finals. He was six in the preliminaries, but he was the fourth Russian, so got eliminated. So this is his day to shine, perhaps, in the individual event finals. Now watch this pass right here, down the side of the floor, with very few steps, a double front. Amazing. And that's a pass we're beginning to see more and more often because it gains bonus points from the judges, combining three layout front somersaults and one with the twist. So far, an excellent routine. A lot of difficulty. And great landing. That's the key to winning a medal. It's tough to win a medal going first, but it has been done. It seems like the judges need to get warmed up as well as the gymnasts, but this move was spectacular. Usually you see it down the center of the floor where more steps can be taken or even additional front handsprings to get more momentum. This is nice difficulty at the end of the routine, a full twisting double back, but the most important part is right here, the landing. Won five medals at the European Championships in 93, two of them gold when he was just 17 years old. So the Russians continue to produce wonderful young talent in men's gymnastics. Nine point six five, the score for Vasilenko. The first to go, it's tough to get a score that high in the finals. And yet he got everyone off to a good start there. Now the star of the all around competition, Alexei Namov. And he really opens with a very beautiful pass. It's a double layout with a full twist on the second somersault. And he does it with ease. You'll notice at 5 feet 8, 155 pounds, he's pretty tall and pretty large for a male gymnast. He managed to stay in bounds there yesterday in the all-around competition. He stepped out of bounds.
the program in Russia seems to really be strong still. Some of the other former Soviet republics have had trouble with money and funding their athletes, but Leonid Arkayev, who has been the orchestrator of the great program from the former Soviet Union, is in Russia and continuing to manage to develop really outstanding gymnasts. Both men and in women's gymnastics. Beautiful double pike somersault. There's certainly more difficult dismounts, but when you do it that well, it just, it really stands out. Let's talk about the mechanics, because not only are they popular, are they po powerful, excuse me, but the technique is amazing. It has to be perfect when you're this tall, Bart. That skill should almost be out of bounds for him at 5'8", and yet he does it with ease. And this is just beautiful. Pointed toes, perfectly straight legs, just a tiny hop on the landing. 9.75, the score for Namoff. So the two Russians, 9.65 and 9.75, the first two performers here in the final. Now Grigory Misutin, one of the best in the world on the floor, a favorite here to win the gold. He is so elegant, along with great power. The same mount we saw from Alexei Namov. And a very similar path, of course, without the full twist on the third element. Silver medalist in Barcelona at the Olympics on this event. Says his favorite gymnast of all time is Nikolai Andrianov, the famous Russian gymnast who won 15 medals in Olympic and world competition. landing on a very difficult dismount, double layout. These scores are going to be very, very close. You talk about the importance of landings in the finals. He has all the difficulty, but he really seemed to be fighting for this landing, especially on the mount. Absolutely. Look at this. He's really struggling to keep his feet planted into the ground. Does a nice job. Here's the front tumbling that we're seeing so much more of in men's and women's gymnastics. Two front layouts into the third layout front. And a key to winning a medal, of course, sticking every single landing. 9.75, the score for Grigory Misutin, which ties him for the lead at the moment with Alexei Namov. Next on the floor, this is Takashi Chinin from Japan. He's competing here. He was a reserve. Originally, Scott Keswick from the United States was to compete in the finals on the floor, but has withdrawn. Said his leg is bothering him. He's hoping to save his energy for a strong performance in the rings, which will be later on this evening. and competed in the Olympics in Barcelona. The Japanese team won the bronze medal there. You can see he doesn't quite have the level of difficulty as a couple of the preceding routines. He started his floor exercise with a full twisting double back. We've seen that at the end of the routine of the leader, Alexei Nemov. It's interesting, he's 27 years old, almost 10 years older than Nemov. And Vasilenko, typical of the Japanese team. Many of their gymnasts start later and are brought to the international scene at a much later age. After, actually, I have to correct myself. Vasilenko did the full in. We've seen double layouts at the end of, end of the routine. He comes up with another full twisting double bat. Strong finish for him, but still not really the level of difficulty. He repeated the last pass, just as his opening pass. You, know, you really need to see the laid out tumbling passes. You know, it's interesting in Japan, many of these gymnasts are sponsored by 
companies that are interested in gymnastics. He works for the Kauai Music Company, and he works part-time during the day and trains in the afternoons, and they sponsor his training and his preparation for the Japanese team. 9.1, the score for Takashi Chinen. More gymnastics to come. Dear Aquafresh, my teeth were so sensitive to cold and sweets. Everything caused pain. Hot, cold, it was awful. Aquafresh Sensitive targets the cause of the problem. Soothing the nerve to help stop the pain. No more pain. You know, I don't even need a straw anymore. Essex competition continues here in St. Petersburg. It's the men's individual event finals. We're on the floor exercise. The first event, this is Paolo Bucci. The leaders, Alexei Namoff and Grigory Masutin, tied for first with a 9.75. It's not quite as sharp. Slightly bent legs on the front layout. Little hops on the landing. Certainly not major breaks by any means. Tiny little deductions that add up. Last summer, the Italian team came to the United States and won the team competition at the World University Games in Buffalo, beating some great teams from the U.S., China, Russia. Paolo Bucci has been around a long time, member of the national team since 1984. You really got to hand it to him, Barb, for staying in this sport when it progresses so rapidly. And he's hanging in there with the young guy. Nice job. Not bad for the 26-year-olds competing against. You're right, as the sport improves, uh, the techniques are much better and... Uh, so a gymnast who's 26 years old really can't compete against an 18-year-old who has the benefit of new training techniques and new strength and conditioning techniques as well. At least the equipment is getting better and better. The floor mats are livelier. All of the equipment, they improve. Makes it a little easier. The score for Paolo Bucci, a 9.0. Now up on the floor, this is Vitaly Rudnitsky. He's 19 years old from Belarus. He competed for Belarus in the European Championships just recently where they won the team competition. Beautiful double layout. He managed standing straight up and down. That was impressive. He's over the line. He just went out of bounds, standing there pre preparing for his tumbling run. I didn't see the light come on. It did come on. It did, huh? So he'll lose a tenth of a point. He actually landed perfectly and then just stepped back out of bounds. He took the, the line judge had to lean forward and look very closely, and that's what drew my attention over to see if the light went on, and it sure went on. So that's a tenth of a point off. The floor area is 40 feet by 40 feet. The routine lasts between 50 and 70 seconds. The gymnast has to show front tumbling and back tumbling. That bell signals that he has 20 seconds to complete the exercise. Nice flexibility. That is gorgeous. You don't usually see that in men's gymnastics. They just fulfill the requirement and get tumbling. Very nice routine. Unfortunately, that tenth of a point off for just standing out of bounds is, is going to cost him. Let's take a look at what happened here. He lands inbounds. There's no trouble here at all. There's a great landing, but then when he steps back to prepare for the tumbling run, <laughs> this, is just, this is a stupid mistake, this unfortunately. This is the kind of thing where your coach just kills you. What are you doing walking out of bounds there? This is beautiful. Very few gymnasts can lift their leg to that height, maintain the balance. This is what the judges had in mind when they, <laughs> when they continue to keep this as a requirement. 9.625, the score for Vitaly Rudnitsky. That will put him in fourth place at the point. The leaders, Namoff and Miss Uten, have 9.75. The score, as you see there, 9.525 for Rudnitsky. He had a 9.625, but the judges deducted one-tenth of a point for stepping out of bounds. Right now, that puts him in 
fourth place.